The Walking Dead has been thrilling viewers for over a decade with its untold legions of shambling undead and ruthless living antagonists. But then, out of nowhere, 11 seasons and over 150 episodes in, something comes along that makes fans raise their eyebrows in disbelief. This time, the offending party is the entirety of Alexandria, the safe zone that first appeared in the Season 5 episode The Distance. Lately, the Washington, D.C. adjacent haven for the survivors has had viewers scratching their heads and wondering what the show's writers are thinking. At least that's what's going on over on the Walking Dead subreddit, where discussions regarding Season 11 episode Promises Broken quickly took a turn for the sassy. Critical comments are being directed by fans at both the people of Alexandria and the real-world writers' room that keeps them there. Basically, according to the show's more vocal devotees, nothing about the place adds up when looked at with any level of scrutiny. It's a well-established fact that post-apocalyptic municipalities are only as dramatic as their constant risk of being overwhelmed by the undead. That said, viewers have noted that Alexandria doesn't boast much consistency when it comes to presenting its struggles. Meanwhile, the very fact that anyone would stay in the safe zone perplexed others. One user rhetorically spoke on behalf of the people of the settlement, saying, I think we should stay in Alexandria, with its half-burned buildings, walls that seemingly leak in walkers at an amazing rate, where our land is destroyed and there are no new resources to be found. If nothing else, it goes to show you that the real estate market is cutthroat even after the fall of civilization. Frustrations with the situation surrounding Alexandria are nothing new, with many fans pointing to the Whisperer War as the start of the problem. Around the conclusion of the story, viewers were clued in on the idea that Alexandria was running low on supplies. By the start of the next season and seemingly out of nowhere, the safe zone was in an even worse predicament than before, with around a month's worth of food left and no option but to send an away team to try and take back a reaper settlement. Our people are about to starve. I'm not going back to my family having failed. The whole kerfuffle raises a lot of questions. Why was retaking the Reaper settlement the best use of markedly mortal resources? Was there nowhere else worth checking out? How did the community let things get this bad without putting any thought into finding more food? And more than anything, why would the survivors stay in Alexandria if they wanted to remain survivors? While the area might have been the best game in town for a while, boasting solar panels and sustainable plumbing and a very scenic windmill, times have changed. Folks have been pointing out issues with Alexandria for as long as the safe zone has been on the show. Entire swaths of Reddit are dedicated to pointing out gaps in in-universe logic when it comes to the region, with users claiming to be engineers arguing with other users who claim to be engineers over whether or not the supports on the outside of the wall would be better served on the side where nobody could knock them down. It's a tension versus compression issue, apparently. We don't actually know. Despite an overwhelming enthusiasm for souring The Walking Dead suite, plenty of fans seem willing to extend their disbelief far enough that they see Alexandria as a perfectly acceptable hypothetical spot to settle down and teach their kids to aim for the head. In another corner of Reddit, enthusiasts hypothesize that much of what makes the place enticing is either long-lasting enough that the survivors wouldn't have to worry about it, as with the PVC used in the plumbing, or easily replaced or reconfigured, like the solar panels and batteries. In other words, Alexandria might not be perfect, but it's the closest thing to a home our characters have had for over half the show. It seems they'd rather build on that foundation than go on another road trip, at least for now. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.